welcome to online teaching uh, this is our period 4 continuing with our uh, chapter knowing the numbers we know that 1 centimeter is 10 millimeters and 1 meter is 100 centimeters now the relation between meter and millimeters so 1 meter will be this 100 centimeters into this 10 millimeters so it will be 1000 millimeters so 1 meter is 1000 millimeters so here 1 meter is 1000 mm now the relation between 1 kilometer and meter is 1 kilometer is 1000 meters and we know that 1 kilometer we know that 1 kilometer is 1000 meters now the relation between kilometers and millimeters that is 1 kilometer is 1000 mm, 1000 millimeters and it is 1000 meters. So this will become mm. So 1 km is mm. See 1 stands 100,000, 10,000 lakhs, 10 lakhs. It is 10 lakhs mm. 1 km is 10 lakhs mm. Same wise, we know that 1 kg is 1000 grams and 1 gram is 1000 milligrams and 1 liter is 1000 ml. We have seen the common words in this are centi, centigram, centi, kilo, milli and liters see these are the common four letters where we are using everywhere milligrams millimeters milliliters kilograms kilometers and here liters kiloliters so you should remember that these among these kilo is the greatest among these kilo is the greatest and milli is the smallest kilo is the greatest greatest unit and milli is the smallest unit smallest unit of all these next kilo shows kilo shows thousand times times greater and milli shows shows thousand times smaller here because kilo is the greatest unit and milli is the uh, smallest unit kilo shows thousand times greater and milli shows thousand times smaller that is 1 kg is 1000 grams and 1 gram is 1000 mg similarly here centi shows 100 times here similarly centi shows 100 times smaller that is 1 meter is 100 centimeters so here we are going to use the basics as 1 kilometer is 1000 meters 1 kg as 1000 grams and 1 liter as 1000 milliliters. Now we are going to start our exercise 1.2 that is our problem solving given. So I am going to do the first one. This is your exercise 1.2. The first question is, a book exhibition was held for 4 days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first day, second, third and final day was respectively 1094, uh, 1812, 2050 and 2751. Find the total number of tickets sold on all the 4 days. See here they have given the number of tickets sold on the first, second, third and the last day and they are asking you to find the total number of tickets sold on all the days that is 
total number of tickets means you have to add all the tickets that were sold on all the four days so the solution is so the first statement is a book exhibition exhibition was held for four days next one number of tickets sold on first day it is 1094 number of tickets sold on second day it is 1812 next number of tickets sold on third day it is 2050 last statement number of tickets sold on the final day is 2751 they have asked to find the total number of tickets total number of tickets sold on all the four days that is we have to add all these digits 1094 plus 1812 plus 2050 Plus two seven five one. So adding it, four plus two is six. Six plus one is seven. Nine plus one is ten. Ten plus ten is twenty. Zero and two carry here. Eight plus two is ten. Ten plus seven is seventeen. Seven and one carry here. Two plus two is four. Four plus one is five. Five plus one is six. Six plus one is seven. So the answer is total. tickets sold on all the four days is 7707 this is your first one answer next one is the second question the second question is shaker is a famous cricket player he has uh, so far scored 6980 runs in the test matches he wishes to complete 10000 runs how many more runs does he need in this it is given that shaker has is a uh, cricket player and he has scored till now 6980 runs and his uh, wish is to complete 10000 runs they are asking how many more runs he have to score so that he has he is going to complete his 10000 runs so his uh, uh, the solution of this question is so the statement is shaker is a famous cricket player he scored runs so far runs so far it is 6980 he wishes to score is equals to 10000 runs so uh, difference in the uh, you have to find the difference in the runs so he has to score more runs to reach 10000 runs is equals to you have to minus 6980 from 10000 so 10000 minus 0896 So zero minus zero is zero. Here ten, here nine, and here nine. Ten minus uh, eight is two. Nine minus uh, nine is zero, and nine minus uh, six is three. So the answer is he has to score three thousand and twenty more runs. This is your second. Okay, your fifth question is find the difference between the greatest and the least five-digit uh, number that can be written using six, two, seven, four, three each only once. Here they are asking you to write the greatest and uh, least, so that is the smallest five-digit number using the digits that they have given each. Okay, solution is see the given digits. 
given digits are 6, 2, 7, 4, 3. Now using these given digits you have to find, write the greatest 5 digit number. So greatest 5 digit number means the greatest number from these digits should come first that is 7. So it is 7, 6, 4, 3 and 2. And next the smallest that is the least. Least 5 digit number. The least 5 digit number will be 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. And they have asked to find the difference. Difference between the greatest and the least five digit number so you have to find the difference that is the minus you have to do these from these two numbers seven six four three two minus two three four six seven so here twelve here twelve here 13, here 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. 12 minus 6 is 6. 13 minus 4 is 9. 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. So the answer is 52965.